spent a lot of time as a very small child, you know, building sand castles. Playing in the water, get out of school, go down and fish in the ocean. It's almost magnetizing to me. I, I think I'm unhappy when I'm not terribly close to the water. If you really enjoy being out there, then you enjoy taking care of it and you want it to be there for your son and your grandson someday. We used to hunt the fields after the farmers would till them and look for fossils. We go into the forest and make tree forts and climb trees. It's because of those stories and it's because of those passions that environmental projects happen. Over the years, we saw that the best company that we could visualize was a company that was diversified, that was providing a comprehensive set of services. We wanted to change the market, to be a leader in it, and really build a company that was capable of great things. And the result has been absolutely incredible. We recognize we're, we're part of this environmental solutions puzzle that's not finished yet. Climco's primary service offering is helping our customers navigate an uncertain and as yet undefined landscape of environmental regulations and stakeholder pressures. We're starting more and more to help companies recognize that humankind is inherently interconnected. The ocean-bound plastics problem is a problem of waste infrastructure. Greenhouse gas challenges are highly related in many cases to biodiversity loss. And you might say, well, what do those things really have to do with each other. And I think the common thread is market-based solutions. We had to find a way to have companies realize that they could do well by doing good. If you don't put a price on something, behavior doesn't shift. When we started the business, it was really focused on abating nitrous oxide. And it wasn't about telling a fertilizer producer that what they're doing is causing uh, ice melt in the, in the polar glaciers. It was telling them, hey, we've identified buyers that really would like to be part of your story. You know, they would like to invest in this project and, and take that claim of a carbon reduction against their ledger. Like there may be a day where carbon offsets aren't required. But until that point, we really believe that investing in this mechanism as a transitional product on the way to carbon neutrality is a great approach. Providing high quality credits is Climco's number one priority. When we evaluate a project, what we're asking ourselves is, does this project activity make a difference? Would it have happened anyway or in the absence of us? You know, our clients, as we were delivering carbon credits to them from high technology avoidance projects, those same clients saying, you know, I really would like to also look at nature-based projects with you. So when we got involved with this, it really was an epiphany for me. I really realized that we want a harmonized portfolio. We want to stop the direct carbon dioxide molecule from going into the atmosphere, but we also have to realize that there's a lot in the atmosphere now. So how can we balance our portfolio with high quality avoidance but also with drawdown credits. Sometimes the relationship starts with the customer saying, I have a sustainability goal to look at ways I could reduce my greenhouse gases. And one of the things that we always want to do with that customer is identify ways that we could do that within their fence line. Like how can they make a difference within their own operations, helping them decarbonize. Oftentimes during that process, the investment in carbon offsets is a big part of their story. Uh, because they want to get to a net zero perhaps quicker than the technologies allow themselves to get to. The future right now for Climco is helping people look vertically. Think about emissions kind of outside your fence line, but related to your business, your employees, your travel, and your supply chain. For our customers, our brands that we're supporting, we're offering the service of telling a story for them. And it's not our story, the customer has the story, but we help them tell it by helping them understand the sustainability plan that they're putting together. What are the types of narratives with which they'd like to be engaged? What types of things resonate with you, your employees, your investors, your customers? For me, nature was always about water. You can't spend all your time out on the water without caring about the inhabitants and how we impact them. I look around and I see the impacts of climate change in so many aspects of my life, but particularly out on the water. Make a small difference today for a better world tomorrow. And it sounds altruistic and grandiose, but making a difference every day is achievable. We can do that. Mm -hmm.